Hello there! Welcome back to our session. We are just through defining a sequence wherein it follows a certain pattern. Now, how are we going to generate pattern? We are going to have now some patterns to review. So let us have here generating pattern. Finding the end term of a given sequence. So for example, we are looking for the sixth term or the fifth term or what term we are denoting that one as end term of a given sequence. So let us have the instruction given is find the first three terms of the sequence described by number one. A sub n is equal to 2n plus 3. So we are looking for the first three terms of the given sequence. So first three terms. So may I have this one? 2n plus 3. So we have... For the first three terms, we denote your first term as a sub 1. So therefore, n will be substituted by 1. So if n is 1, a sub 1 is equal to 2 times 1 plus 3. Then your a sub 1 will be 5. Your second term will be a sub 2 is equal to 2 times 2 plus 3. So that is 4 plus 3. That is equal to 7. Then a sub 3 will be 2 times 3, which is equal to 6, plus 3, which is equal to 9. Same true. In this equation, we have the given equation. If your n is 1, all n's will be sub substituted to 1. A of 1 is equal to 1 minus 7, which is equal to negative 6, and so on. So, it is easy for you to find if we have an equation to be used. For example, for number 1, or let's, let's make use of number 3. If you are looking for the first three terms here, a of n is equal to 5n divided by 2. So if n is 1, so that is 5 times 1 all over 2, which is equal to 5 over 2, or 5 halves. Uh, take note, Please give your answers in fraction form. Do not give that one in decimal form. You may use proper or improper fractions as long as your answers should be in the simplest form. Do not use decimal numbers. Am I making myself clear here? Please make use of fractions for your answers. If you cannot simplify that one, then your answers will be that one. For example, a sub 1 is equal to 5 all over 2. That's it. Then, if we are looking for the 10th term, for example, for number 2, equation number 2, a sub n is equal to 10 minus 7. So, that is equal to 3. So, we have now a sub 10 is equal to 3. As simple as that. Now, how about here, for example, we have to know what will be the nth term of a given sequence. Given this sequence, we do not know the equation. So we are going to find the equation to represent the given sequences. So let us start with number 1. You have 2, 4, 6, and 8. So let us have here number 1. Have me, I have yeah. so that I can give more examples. I need the screen, then that's it. For number one, number one, we have two, four, six, eight. We are looking for, we are looking for uh, the end term. What if we wanted to find the 100th term or the 50th term? Are we going to write all the terms here? Of course, we will be needing an equation to represent that one. If you are observing for a number 1, what do you observe? You are increasing by 2. 2 plus 2 will be 4, plus 2 will be 6, plus 2 will be 8. If this is the case, always remember that 
the number being added. So, the number being added. So, you have here, we can write that one as a sub n is equal to, what is the number being added? It's 2. Then, we can have that one as 2n. Our first term is, here is 2. So, we have here, if we have a sub 1 is equal to 2 times 1. What is the answer? 2 times 1 is 2. This is our first term. It's correct. How about if we want to try another example here? Number 2. Example number 2. If we are going to check a sub 4 here, a sub 4 will be 2 times 4, which is 8. So, our fourth term is 8. So, our equation is correct. So, our equation will be a sub n is equal to 2n. Then, how about now if we have another example? For example, I have here a sequence which is 5, 8, 9, 10, 14. What is the fixed number being added? 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 3 is 11, plus 3 is 14. We are adding a fixed number which is 3. So we can have that one as a sub n is equal to 3, the fixed number being added, 3n. If we make use of the first term, so that is a sub 1 is equal to 3 times 1, which is 3. Our first term here is 5, so we need to add 2 to 3. So, that is plus 2. So, a of n is equal to 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 to become 5. How about now if I have this one, number 3? You have 6. You have also 10. You have 14. So, a sub n is equal to, what is the number being added? It's 4. So, that is 4n. 4 times 1 is 4. But our first term here is 6. So, we have to add 2 again. So, that we will be having our first term is 6. So, if we are going to check our third term, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14. How about now number 4? This one. You have... 2, 8, what is the number being added? You are adding 6. So, 2 plus 6 is 8 plus 6 is 14 and so on. So, a sub n is equal to what is the number being added? That is 6n, correct? 6n, so 6 times 1 is 6 but our first term is only 2. So, what are we going to do? We have to subtract minus 6 times n is, 6 times 1 is 6 minus 4. So, that we will be having our first term as 2. So, 6n minus 4. 6 times 1 is 6 minus 4 is 2. That is our first term. Let us check the third term. 6 times 3 is 18 minus 4 is 14, which is correct. Then, next... We have also the example there. Second example in my slide a while ago is you have the sequence 3, six, oh, three 9, 27, and so on. What do you observe? 3, 9, 27. We are multiplying a constant factor which is 3. To get the next number correct so if we have to find the next number after 27 it will be 81 because we are multiplying 3 how about this one if in our uh, first example or the previous examples we make use of n as a factor now if we have a common factor being multiplied to get the preceding number to get the next number in our sequence we make use of n as an exponent. So here, we have a sub n is equal to, what is the constant number being multiplied? It's a 3. So that is 3 raised to n. Your n will be an exponent. So 3 times uh, 3 raised to n. So if n is 1, 
3 raised to 1 is 3. 3 raised to 2, which is our second term, which is 9. And 3 raised to 3 is 27 and so on. To get how to have a pattern here. So this is our equation for the second example. I guess you can answer again the worksheets given to you. And see you again on our next tutorial lessons.